Okay, I really am scared. Where's my chair? Where's my chair? Hey, sprinkles, sprinkles, sprinkles. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. It is um, what you whipping on? Cause I've been whipping foes, and I've been painting. I got paints, got paints all over me. I've been painting something for someone out there. Whew, I did a beautiful thing, beautiful things thing. Anyway. Hello, this is gonna be a what you whipping on. And I have been make I have a I have some foes and I have some stories and I have some old foes and, and some things. I thought I'd say hi. It is oh you can't see it anymore. It it is 10 30 at night. I am still on day three, so I can't guarantee it's gonna upload in time though. <laughs> the last one, one hour video. One hour video took four hours to upload. It took forever. Okay, so what you whipping on? What you what really what you whipping on? I have been whipping on um you can see just a little can you see a little peek? Can you see a little peek? Oh look 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 can you see a little peek? You don't see nothing. <laughs> you don't see nothing. But you, you gotta see this one, this one, this one right here. I'm going to sit right there. But, okay, so I've been working on my one skein thing. And I'm, we're just going to get into it. Hi, I'm Jax. Welcome in. Um, all the new people, I'm crazy, okay? <laughs> You're going to notice the skirt thing? Okay, I, I really do. I forget. I forget, guys. Guys, give me grace. Everybody, that they'll tell you down in the chat. Get ready. Put, sit down, hold on. You might even want to buckle in because it's going to be a crazy, bumpy ride. Yeah, that's 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 at Jack's house. Right now, you are in creations by Jack's mode because I am creating. Boy, was I creating. So this, this you want to just jump in. Let's just jump on it. Can you see? Yo, I ran out of yarn. I tried to one skein thing it. So I did have to make an alteration. This is the boardwalk bucket. What's up? But this turned into the boardwalk beanie because that is all I had left, yo. This is true boo sparkle. I, I got this in a mystery box. And um, and so for the one skein thing, and then my little brother he brought back the wheel. He brought back the wheel. I actually made two of them. There's another one up there, but those hooligans up there, Belle and, and her boys got in trouble last night. So I got them up there with Freddie right now. We'll we'll discuss it. I, I'm going to rat you out, fool. Do you see those five up there? Is there five? One, two, three, four. Five. Yep, the five of them. The five of them. We'll talk about what their shenanigans last night. Woke me up at two o'clock in the morning. Anyway, so this is Juan the Yarn Addict's brand new beanie. He brought the wheel back by popular demand. You ask and they shall receive. I'll tell you what. I, I was like, baby, if, if five people tell you to bring back the wheel, uh, maybe. You could go maybe. But when like 150 people say bring back the wheel. He brought back the wheel. But, um, yeah, I ran. I, I still will wear this. This is really not bad. It's it's actually quite scrumptious. I'm not mad at it. And, and let me come close. I'm hyper today, guys. See, I have it gentle. Oh, 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 you can see the little sparkles. It's got a green sparkle in it. doesn't like green and sparkles I like green and sparkles but yeah that's all I had left so I had to make that a beanie but let me let me just shh. these guys right here so so this this right here is mushroom cloud imkin that's imkin number one and then this right here this is imkin number two he didn't have a name yet I still haven't named him yet sorry that's not my usual usually they have names before they come off the hook then Roberto 
that is my my little uh Inkari alpaca and then we got Belle here sitting on the bottom she's she's very regretful and then right here this is blue that is the the child of Octavia so they were popping off last night Let me, can I have this yeah well maybe you should lay down So, because, because I, I ran out of yarn on that one at lunch today, at lunch today, I put another one on. <laughs> and this time I could do the rim. Bucket hat. That's the Broadway bucket hat. And... But see, I was so sad. I'm going to make another one because the yarn ate up. Here, ring my bell. Ding dong, ding dong. Yeah, then you'll get notified. But it, it just lost the stitches. But this is delicious yarn right here. Yeah, this is, this is delicious yarn. It's, it's not working. Oh, I don't, it doesn't, do you have to be streaming for it to happen? Oh, poop a doo doo. All right, I have to use stream yarn then. But it's it's like the yarn took over the hat, but still the silhouette is still cute. It's just a little short bucket because um, ran out of yarn here too. But this delightful stuff, hi, it's purple. Hi friend. Did I bring the little tiny piece? Oh, I had just a little tiny piece, little, little tiny piece left. This is some beautiful Seta's Place yarn. This is Seta's yarn and it's called Have a Blessed Day from Crochet and Agreement, and it's like three different colors of purple. What? Because I love the things. Yeah, love that a lot. So let me just hang this here with my little... That was the first tapestry anything I ever did, and one of the last tapestry things I ever did right here. Yes, this is a, a bag. I don't like tapestry. I don't like that you can see the carry-along. I'd rather do in my mosaic, but the, I, I, I bought this because it's purple. <laughs> All right. So Juan the Yarn Addict, go check out his, the, he brought the wheel back. It is a bucket. Cried two tears in it. Bucket. It's the Broadway bucket. He spun the wheel. It's great. There are double fans, which I think that's called the iris. Is that called the iris stitch? I won't come close. got those in there and there's some post stitches and some some what else is there there's some um crisscross stitches i love the little and i love the but and even as a, and a as a beanie just a regular bucket and you know what i think i might get some more of this this true true brew true brew <laughs> easy for me to say true boo sparkle I ain't mad at you. I wonder. It's, you know, of course, because it's bamboo cotton blend. I wonder how it's going to launder. But I don't even care. It's really, it's very spring has sprung. Okay, so let's put bucket. We'll put the other bucket beanie. Oh, can't wait for a chunky monkey market bag. Market bag. <laughs> bubble, 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 bu bubble, bubble, bubble. Chunky monkey market bag. Market bag. <laughs> Gonna have so much fun. All right. Oh, sorry. I'm sitting on the I'm sitting on the chair. So I'm gonna wait, watch, watch. One, two, five, ten. <laughs> All right, are we having fun yet? I am. I have to. I have to. I'm tired. I had a full day at work today. I was painting for you guys for the pot anniversary tomorrow. But I know I had to come on and show you some things. Do you know that I barely picked up a hook today? I just made that hat. I've usually done a couple things by now, but I didn't get very far on my, so this is my what, this is my what you whipping on. I didn't get very far on my washcloth, but what I did was I'm going to put one right here. I staggered them and now I'm going to go back to on top. So it kind of made a little texture in there, but yeah, so that's that little stitch I was showing you guys. We are calling it the drop double or mock bubble, mock bubble. And um, yeah, good things coming on that one. So also been working on, okay, so I had to just go ahead and submit my 
I had to participate because it was brilliant. Gary over at Urban Yarn, ha! Oh, he's just a color genius. He He's really having a step out of our comfort zone. And I did that today. I painted. And that's uh, um, me? I painted? Well, I guess I painted those. You want to see? I'll tell you a little story, too, while I'm telling you about Gary. But anyway, I, um, when I started the channel, I did these. I'll show you these in a second. But anyway, so we did the mood board. And we did the mood board, and I decided to make a um, kind of a freestyle hug. And I dedicated it or named it for Mary, my very first member, my very first gold member, at that I was like sis is coming in hot <laughs> and so I did something very special for her I created this hug and it's this is a hug for Mary that's what it's called there will only be one and it will I'll I, I was gonna see if I could go get the actual picture of the mood board and a little color picture for her so when she has this she can go oh right okay so i will try to i will try to do i'm tired so if i don't do the thing right here that's the mood board right there i'm gonna let it stay up right there this is what i got so far the mood board i'm gonna try to put the so the mood board will be right here right there <laughs> so you can see this is the first tile bum, bum. this is the little karen is that what they're called karns or karens the rock stacks. This section here is the field, and that is um, Mount Rainier with the clouds, and then um, I or the sky, and then I did these little bobbly thingies for clouds, and then this section right here is where I was starting. The it's towards the bottom there is the this is the bridge, and then the trees, and now I've got to do. Um, just a little bit more for the, a little more white, maybe with the floofies. And then I'll do these other, the, the hawk or the, the hawk. That is a bald eagle full. Um, and then over here is that last one and that's all that sea glass. So, um, I'm really, um, having fun playing with all of these stitches. I mean, if you look, so this is kind of like a granny. Um, this is like a, I forget what this one is called. You you go into the stitch without yarning over and you yarn over three times to pull up loops. You pull through all the loops and then you don't cap it off. You single crochet in the next stitch and it kind of pulls it over and it has a little. But I thought it looked like stones. And then that's the trees and the, and all of this stuff was either, you know, like the granny stitch. You know, you, the, that's everybody knows the granny stitch, but all this other stuff was all pulled from my books. And and yes, I see how this is starting to ruffle a little bit, but I got lace work that's about to come and it's gonna it's gonna straighten it all out. So that's that's Mary's hug. It's coming along, guys. I mean slow fashion man. You can't there is no instant gratification unless you make a scrunchie. And even a scrunchie is like the never ending single crochet. Round and round and round and round. But anyway, talking about painting. So I was painting today. Painting is not usually my medium. I'm not an artist. Like paint and drawing and no, that's not my thing. But when I started the channel, I was like, I need a thing. I need a, I need a like button. So I, I did this little thing and it had the like. And when I was sitting there and then I did the subscribe. I, I was sitting there and I had la I had English laver lavender, English lavender on the table. And it was like make, casting a shadow. Hold please. <laughs> Allergy, crazy. It was casting the shadow. So I just painted the shadows. That's all just, I just painted the shadows. Let me see how it went like that. But I was kind of proud of myself. It's not bad. It's not, is it kind of kindergarten? Is it? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I was proud of myself because I'm not that kind of an artist. And then today with the painting, I was painting the bag. There's, I have a bag for the beautiful things. Actually, I'll show you. 
this one, this is the one that I was going to keep for myself, but this is how it came out. We were just, Britt was just, um, we were playing with the Cricut and I said, I don't care what color it is. Just use some of your scrap stuff. So we did the yellow, but I didn't care because I was going to paint it. Well, the bag downstairs, it's drying. I painted it with metallic paint. And the concept behind the bag and the painting over the top of the beautiful things is I blew up the beautiful things. I blew it up. Blew up beautiful. I blew up what beautiful is supposed to be. So, um, yeah. Hold, please. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I didn't want to. My nose is running. All right. Now, we talked about beautiful things. Oh, and then here, so talking about painting. <laughs> so, Britt's busy. My my daughter niece, um, niece daughter daughter niece. She's my daughter niece. She is now a um, what is that in the a carpenters union? Got her first job. She's working on a bridge. So happy, so happy. She's doing the things. Anyway, she was gonna make the fans for us. Which the other one? What did I do with it? Is that this one? No, this is my. This is my hot flash one. Yeah, that's my hot flash one. I had the other one she just gave me. Oh, is it, is it this one? No. Uh-oh. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay I'm going to have to show you guys later. But anyway, I showed pictures of it. Anyway, it says a hooker support device on the fan. I just had it so I could show you guys. I can't believe that. Absolutely. Are you serious right now? Seriously? Seriously? All right. I'll have to show you tomorrow. Because I'm going to be here, yo. I'll be here. I'll, I'll see y'all tomorrow. So I'll show you the other fan tomorrow. Oh, you know what? It's downstairs with the painting station. Because I'm going to hand paint some stuff on it. We'll see. It's either going to be like hella kindergarten. Or it's going to be like, hey, can I have one of those? Yeah, it'll be $35, please. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm thinking of see try to put some different things on the Etsy store some bags and some some inexpensive th swag if I can make my own swag you know what if I could pull in enough capital to to get a, a sublimation sh machine I would make cups and swag bags and um we gotta have t-shirts and that teesprings they're so expensive So, I don't know. Anyway, uh, this, let's talk about this. This was a piece that I did with Luck of the Draw. And um, I had just made blankets and I wanted to do something different. And this pattern came out. And I want to say it's MJ off the hook or is it Brianna K? Anyway, this is one of those sweaters that's one piece. And I am going to take what I've learned from those girls, the which is Brianna K and um, MJ off the hook. And they do these sweaters that are one piece. So you start at the sleeve and you make the ribbing, 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 ribbing. And you're going like this, ribbing, 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 ribbing. And then you go up and down and up and down and up. And then you chain, 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 chain. And then, and that's the next panel. And then you go this way, this way, you like that. And then you fold it over and you seam here, seam here, seam here, seam here. And you're done. This actual one, she did do in two pieces though. It has a right down the center right there. Um, I joined that. It's almost like a Ruana. This is, this is more like a Ruana, but it does have sleeves and all you do is and the sleeves, they don't look like like I have a big peplum sleeve. They're, they're actually very fitted around the wrist till about here. So when you push it up, it's like a three-quarter. Yeah, I love this sweater. But anyway, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take what I learned on making those sweaters with those girls. So many of those sweaters. I've Lexi actually snagged the last one um a brown one duster that i had made um that was also another one that was one piece um they're just gr those are great i hate 
so they never look right they, i'm sorry but and they're bulky mm -mm. no I, I but we're gonna do this members during the members only Ugh. sorry see this is where most people would cut this out but oh, what time is it it's 10 minutes to 11 so we're just gonna go with it um when i um gonna make those um the with the members my members only did i did a poll and they chose a cardi and then i have a bunch of stitches that i'm going to use in it and it's not going to be quite this kind of construction uh and i do like because it has the the split up the side yeah that's cool great great pattern uh, but the silhouette is i mean pretty much what i'm going to do but there are some differences and of course i gotta jack it up <laughs> All right, let's see. What else are we talking about? We did that one. Oh, I can see my taqueria right there. We got some birria, birria tacos. <sighs> Sisters and brothers, I can see a chicken enchilada right there. Um, with a mole chicken enchilada. Ooh, it's calling me. <laughs> and this right here is one of my favorite drinks in the whole wide world. And I put it in my Marcel back, uh, my Marcel um, cup. And it is ginger ale with a true lemon packet in it. So it's ginger lemonade. Like ginger ale, lemon, lemon, ginger ale. I need to go to bed. I've got more things to do though. Now, I, I would also like to discuss a little thing that I got in the mail. A friend of mine that... I cherish, cherish more than I think. I think she's really starting to understand how much she means to this community. And that is our Mrs. C, Miss C. Um, I was blessed quite some time ago, quite some time ago, it's been over a year, with the Sun Bunny. And I remember unboxing it. I remember seeing the little story that comes with her. This is my son, Bunny. This is Polly, by the way. Look at her little. So this is my son, Bunny, Polly. And so I unboxed Polly, and during the video, I did not take the time to read her story. When Missy sends you your son, Bunny, there's a little story and their, and their name and, and things of that nature. And I, I, I finally just said, Missy, by any chance, do you still have that? And she keeps a binder of all of the sun bunnies that she has gifted. And she sent it to me. And I was so humbled by that because I had to be vulnerable and I had to admit that I could not find that. And But it meant enough to me that I wanted Polly's story. Okay, so mind you, I have not read this yet. Oh, there's something else in here. What did you do? Oh my goodness, that's just precious. It's 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 a little bunny stitch maca. <laughs> that's adorable. All right, so we're gonna read this together, you guys. Let me make sure there's anything else in there. No, no, no. no, no. Let me put that right there. Okay, is this gonna make me cry? I don't know. All right. So here, let me hold Polly while we talk about it. She'll sit up there on my shoulder. Okay, you sit right there, okay? You can. Okay, Polly. Polly is a sum bunny made with love for you. She was one of seven kits born in a warren under the old oak tree in the, in the field. She was always the first to awaken. Oh, I'm sorry. The, she was always the first awake and loved to crawl up into the meadow to drink the fresh morning dew and let the sun warm the tip of her nose. Polly was a great help to her mother. She helped sweeping and making beds and even shopping for the carrots and extra crunchy peanut butter. 
that's my favorite. Celery and peanut butter and carrots and peanut butter, my favorite. Did you know that? I lost my play. Did you, did you know, did you hear me say that? Did, I don't know if this is, has anything to do with, let's, let's keep reading. She likes helping so much that when she left the Warren, she went about helping all the critter, critters in the forest. She helped the squirrels gather nuts for the winter. She helped the field mice scout out corn and green beans or green peas to hide away until a later time when the snow had fallen and they could no longer go out to forage. Because helping others made her happy, she decided to make it her life's work and help others whenever she can. That makes her a great companion, a silent listener, and she keeps her opinions to herself. Her friends know that they can laugh or cry with her, even whisper their deepest secrets. Oh, their deepest secrets to her because she will never betray their trust. Polly has unconditionally unconditionally by passing on the love God gives to her so others who know that somebody loves, somebody loves them. That's really sweet. Miss C, you really did this for every single somebody? That's like really cool. I mean, now, was that just random? Or does this have a little bit of, is this jacked up? I don't know. It's a it's a little it's a little on the nose. <laughs> Running around helping all the time. Sometimes all the time. I don't know. I just feel like if I have the ability to help and I don't, it's a waste. <laughs> so I help when I can. But I need to help myself a little more. Cause I I see I'm right there, there's a pile of laundry that needs to be put away. <laughs> Okay, so we talked about the carding. That is going to be the beautiful things carding. Um, I have this beautiful thing I'm working on. I'm almost done with the first one. Then I have one more to do. <sighs> yep, I think that's it. Oh, I did. I did um, accidentally. The the box got a little bigger <laughs> for my K and K K K. <laughs> You said you needed some for Christmas. <laughs> and then I found some more. <clears throat> so, uh, Belle will be heading out with another package. There'll be a package going home to their mommy. To Belle's mommy. And then Belle will go on to the next person. Oh, so you want to know what these guys, these they were popping off last night. So... Homeboy over here, Mushroom Cloud, Ampkin. He he comes over here and he he gets blue. Blue is blue is the little octo right there. I don't know if you can see me. He's right there, little tiny blue octo. Well, that is the child of Octavia. If anybody knows Octavia, the octopus, go over to left is right. That's left is right, Sandy. Left is right crochet. And there's a playlist for Octavia. She is, she's a little hussy. But anyway, so they were trying to get Roberto, Bobby over there, the alpaca, was trying to get Octavia or get Blue to call Octavia because they wanted to go out clubbing. They woke me up at two o'clock in the morning trying to get trying to get my phone. So I had to put them up there with See, you see, Jumpin' Jacks is like, and right behind Jumpin' Jacks is no Frog Zone Freddy. And you see, he, you don't see him, but he's got a, he's got a hold of Belle's, got a hold of, <laughs> and these are the stitches of our lives. All right, I'm going to go now. Can I go now? Because we have, I'll see y'all tomorrow. And um, I worked on, holy moly, you guys turned out. You turned out for T-Mob 2024. For the month of BOD, you guys, y'all turned up. I have been putting that slideshow together for days. And I'm not even done. 
So I, I was going to work on that a little bit tonight, but it's now 11 p.m. And it's almost my potiversary. Yeah, we're going to have some fun, yo. I, I don't know. I just thought we'd spend the day. I, I, I keep forgetting Granny D. She's back. So whatever we do, we got to do it in an hour. So I have a few things I'm going to give away. I, like I said, I, I hand painted a bag for a little gift for the people that participated in the beautiful things, which is um, the, the boggy style make along. And then we will discuss that one. I'm, I'm, there's so many emails, you guys. I, I'm just trying to, with all the stitching, I, I, I um, let timelines get the best of me again. And I know I just had the same discussion on the timelines, but you know, it was, it, yeah, project critical. I, I had to do some long stitching over like into the night. And now those are all mailed off. People are starting to receive their packages. I'm so excited for a couple of people to receive the things that they're getting. <laughs> but I don't know. A couple of people are getting stuff and I don't I don't think they do content, but I would hope they could at least take a picture and put it on a community tab or or even email me a picture of whatever. I'd love to see Gwen. I'd love to see you wearing it. And that's the butterfly Stanley that I did in the Stanley cake. She should be getting that tomorrow. But all right. So, yep, tomorrow potiversary. We have Holy moly, I think Juan is dropping, he's dropping his, it's a summer cow, I believe it's a throw, yep, this is the throw, it's coming out tomorrow, let's see, what else? Oh my gosh, there's so much, there's so much stuff happening tomorrow. I think uh, Bag Day said that she is going to be doing um, another video, I think she said she's going to drop that Saturday or Sunday. I'm looking forward to seeing the last little batches of blankets. I I told her if she didn't get to it, I'm not real worried about it. Because I, I think they, she should get them today or tomorrow. Um, But let's see. Yeah. All right, babies. All right, babies. Say, baby. Say, baby. It's time to go. Do, 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 do. Did I even make anybody laugh today? I just feel like I'm sometimes I feel like a man. And sometimes I don't. <laughs> I am always the forever joker, though. I am the forever joker. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys. There's nothing new up in here. Up in here. But I got my Kona Cafe. Oh, did I? This is what I wanted. Oops. This is this is what I, I had brought this stuff in. Where's the green? Uh-oh. Did Rain take the green? Rain took the green the green uh, everybody's going crazy over picasso and my pant is stuck um everybody's going crazy over picasso <laughs> no this is this is where it's this is where it's at this do you see that shimmery shine this 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 is oh my goodness this this is called rockabilly and the last time i was on their site there was like one color left and i was going to go back and get it and it was gone i was going to buy it all this rockabilly i did my mom's macaw kerchet it's a cur uh you know kerchet it's not quite a shawl it's kind of like the a triangle scarf but i called it a gorget or a kerchet a gorget is the the neck piece of armor but anyway, I've got just a few balls of it left. If anybody has rockabilly, I, I'm I'm starting to have an, a little tiny, tiny trickles of channel money come in. I would love to take that off any. I'd love to take that off anybody's hands if they have rockabilly. Not rockstar, rockabilly. It's I think it's polyester. It might be rayon, but from ice. Let's see. <sighs> Yeah, working on, I have a test that I'm still working on. Uh, and I, I feel like I failed him, man. I, I'm i usually quick snap in a hurry on the, the testing, but there's never anything wrong with, Craig, there's never anything wrong with your patterns. 
So far, the numbers are completely perfect. And I'm already through like th the third repeat, second, second or third repeat. If he even watches me, if you do, hi, friend. <laughs> Pigs in a blanket. Yeah, going to make those tomorrow. Um, yeah, if you guys do, want something to like break up the monotony, um, Fiber Spider has been putting on some alternative content that I am all there for. And I am an, also an alternative content provider that I like to do more than just crocheting. So, um, if, if this painting thing and the, and the making swag, I, I'm, I did make, just make 20, 22? 21, 21 sets of charms with stitch markers. You guys wait, Christmas in July, countdown box. Yeah, he should have those. Those should be to rest by tomorrow too. <sighs> lagging, fool, lagging. I, I need two more hands. I need someone to do admin work, man. That's, that's why I didn't want my channel to get bigger. I was like, I'll just stay little over here. I'll just stay a little over here. Just just responding to comments alone. That's usually morning coffee, though. I don't mind. I do my comments. I always like to approve and heart and comment. Um, and watch my nanner over at... Um, sorry, I thought I saw something over there I wanted to show you guys, but that was not. Um, my She's got yarn. I always watch her in the morning when I am drinking my scarfy carfy. Okay, well... I'm going to see you guys in just a few hours at 11 a.m. tomorrow. So I better hurry up and wrap this up or it's never going to upload. It's never going to upload. Because, see, what is this? Can you see what it says right there? Naughty little hookers. <laughs> Make beautiful things. All of the beautiful things. All of them. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Sprinkles, sprinkles. Sprinkles, sprinkles. Yep, that's it. Bye. I'm really going. Say bye. Oh, you guys aren't here. You say bye tomorrow. <laughs> bye.